Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to change the shape of your images. Let's get into it. So I am here in the skeleton of my project and just to give you a quick run through, my HTML consists of an image of my cat pumpkin and then I've just got a bit of CSS to set the height and give it a cursor pointer so the user knows that something will happen when you click him and then in the JS I have grabbed that image using document.getElementById and added an event listener to it which listens for the click and will then run a function called change shape, which I will write a bit later. And I also have a rather strange looking array called shapes R. And what this is, is the clip paths of various different shapes. So I have currently triangle, hexagon, trapezoid, and parallelogram. And to show you what that does, I will hop on over to my CSS and use one of them to style the shape of my image. Now, if you're wondering where I got these from, I did not write them myself. I grabbed them from this website here bennettfeely.com slash clippy. This site has a variety of different shapes that you can grab and you can also make your own custom shapes. Very handy indeed. So just to show you, I'll grab this pentagon one and all you need to do is copy this property here. Look at it go, pentagon pumpkin, amazing. Now I should talk a bit about browser support at this point. If you hop on over to can I use, you'll see that browser support is all right, but it's not universal. So you shouldn't use this for anything that's integral to understanding the content of the page. Now the clip path is what I'm actually going to be changing over in the JS. But to do that, I'm first going to set up a CSS variable. It's only going to be used to style the image. So I'll set it within the image selector and I'll call it shape. And then I'll grab these percentage values and set them as the variable. And that will allow me to use the variable within the clip path. And that looks like this, bar shape. Woo, pentagon pumpkin is back. Now onto that JS. So as I mentioned, this image has an event listener, which will run a function called change shape on the click. And I will write that function now. Now what this function will do is generate a random number and then use that random number to select one of the shapes from shapes array. So let's generate that random number now with const random num equals math.floor math.random. And then to make that nice and dynamic, I'm going to multiply that by the length of shapes array with dot length. So currently I've got four different shapes in here, but if I added some more, it would still be able to select any of them at random because I have used shapes array dot length. And then I'll just do image dot style dot set property. And the property I'm gonna set is shape, which is our variable we've set up for the image. And then I just want to set that to shapes array random num. Let's give that a go. And that is not working because I forgot my brackets right here. And now you'll see we're getting one of these shapes selected at random when we click pumpkin space. Now this is nice, but there was one problem with it. And that is it's possible for the function to select the shape that the image already has. So you'll notice that occasionally it doesn't actually change and that's because it's choosing the same one again. But we can fix that quite easily. We first save the new clip path in a variable const new clip path is shapes array dot random none and we want to compare that to the clip path that pumpkin currently has and i'll save that in a variable called current clip path and to figure out what clip path he currently has we do get computed style on the image and we want to get the property value of shape and now we can use a conditional to decide whether to use the clip path we've just generated, or if it's the same, select another one. If current clip path is not equal to new clip path, so if they're different in other words, then we'll do our image.style.set property. We want to set the shape to the new clip path. Otherwise, we'll do the same thing again, but instead of new clip path, we'll do shapes array random num plus one. And what this means is it's going into the shapes array, selecting the index that corresponds to random num, and then instead of using that, it's going to the next one. Now you might ask, well, what happens if it selects the last one then? Because there isn't the next one it can go to. Well, I can show you that with a console log. So I will click through until it does that. So far, so good. It's selecting the shapes that are in the array, but now it's selected the one after the end of the array, which is undefined, meaning it just goes back to its original shape, which is this square. A little bit hacky, but still does the basic job of providing a new shape every time we click pumpkin. Now there are definitely ways you can improve this. 
For example, you can generate completely random shapes every time you click. You can do blobs instead of polygons, all sorts of amazing things. And you can also change the shape of images using an SVG, which I've made another video about as well. So you can go and check that out if you like. I'll link it to a card above. And these two resources that I've used during the video are available in the description box. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button and or subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.